We're getting a glimpse tonight of how everyday tasks will change in the not too distant future thanks to advancements in drone technology. There's already a use for them in almost every industry and they're not restricted to the skies. To meet faster delivery schedules, the mobile freighter becomes the payload of a cargo rocket. Unlike the lofty predictions of the 1970s, the tech on display at Brisbane's World Drone Congress is operating in the real world today. Australia is scaling drone technology use in a way that it's business as usual now for a lot of people. It's really exciting. From the very small for tight spaces or very large for long-range missions, on four wheels for ground surveillance or even two legs for high-detail 3D mapping, the technology here is already being used to fight fires and save lives in the surf. And our brightest minds are meeting at the Southern Hemisphere's biggest drone and robotics convention to find the next big leap. It's not just about obviously creating jobs and helping the economy, but doing things in a really practical and enormously helpful way. All of this is new and exciting, but you do need to learn how to fly it. The good news is that simulators like this allow you to practice your skills without worrying about damaging your fancy new equipment when you inevitably crash. But I could just as easily have been flying the real thing. From this computer in Southbank, they're actually piloting a surf life-saving drone in Burley. With a box like this, they can be left anywhere and controlled from the office. A robot even changes the batteries. Or do away with batteries by using hydrogen, extending flight times from minutes to hours. We know drones can be utilised across many fields, but we want to start flying, as I mentioned, further um, and flying multiple drones at once. Who knows what tomorrow will bring? Nick Kelly, Nine News.